Hey everyone, my name is Mars, like the planet, and this is Housewarming. I am coming back to you guys with a good old-fashioned Sunday cleaning motivation video. I have not posted one of these in almost six months, I think. I think the last time I posted it, it was April maybe, um, but I am just coming back to you guys with this video. I really wanted to catch up and talk to you guys because I have not really sat down to talk to you guys in such a long time, so I know I have a lot of new subscribers. We recently just hit 2,000 subscribers. Subscribers. And I know that's not a lot on the grand scheme of things with YouTube and people hitting almost 10 million subscribers, but 2,000 people is a lot of people to me. So I'm just so thankful for you guys for commenting on my videos and supporting my videos. I know I post a lot of different content, um, but I honestly just want to have fun with this. I am a video editor by nature. It is my um, nine to five job. So I just love video editing. I love creating videos for you guys to watch. I just like documenting what I am doing throughout my day and throughout my life. So I get that sometimes not every Every single video is for every single subscriber but if you are watching if you are liking if you are commenting on my videos thank you like honestly just thank you so much so today I'm just going around and cleaning my house like I do every single Sunday. That includes vacuuming, that includes the laundry, the dishes, putting up the dishes, um, making the beds and things like that. Just, just getting the house ready for the new week. I don't know, I've always just seen Sunday as a cleaning day. I feel like it's the best day to kind of refresh your house and get things ready for the week. Now this is obviously not the only day that I clean my house. I do do a little bit of spot cleaning, you know, throughout the week or I might do a lot of laundry throughout the week, but this is the day that I kind of set aside for for cleaning but um, I'm just gonna let the video play and just kind of catch up with you guys so since uh, my last cleaning video oh my gosh <laughs> so much has just happened um, in the last six months I had my 28th birthday so I am now 28 my birthday was in April I am in Aries um, but I also went through a pretty big breakup um, I talked about this in my vlog that I went to uh, Houston in um, if you want to check that out but I basically just talked about how I just recently went through a pretty big breakup and it was just really hard for for me um, trying to figure out my life path again and trying to figure out what I was now going to do with my life. Um, I kind of at some points felt like my life was over. I just didn't know the direction I was going in. I felt an immense amount of hurt and shame and I felt just you know there's this pressure on women um the older that we get to settle down and get married and have kids and just you know move into a home with a white picket fence and I think us as millennials are just realizing that that's not the case anymore um I have a couple of friends that are in their 30s that are not married or not you know having kids or not even planning on having children or anything like that you know most of my friends are not even homeowners and back in the day you know my parents were already settled down, you know, having children and having a house and all of these things by the time they were 30. And that's just not possible a lot of the times for a lot of people. So I do think after going through this breakup and being 28, I was like, oh my gosh, like I need to hurry up, find somebody else, get married. Like I'm getting old, you know? So it's, I had to kind of take a, de uh, a deep breath and just kind of realize like, you're still young. You're only 28 you're going to be fine. Like it's, it's going to be okay. Like your person is out there. It's not the end of the world. Yes, it does hurt. Yes, it does suck at the end of the day that you went through this breakup, but it's not the end of the world. I think we put so, so much pressure on people and women, especially the closer they get to 30 and 35 and 40 to say, you know, when are you going to settle down? And when are you going to, you know, make something of your life and you need to have a mom and, you know, they have a child and it's like, okay, when are you going to pop out the next one? And, you know, this, that, and the other. And it's like, there's just so much pressure that the second you turn 30 you're expected to settle down and sit in a rocking chair until you die basically and it's like well now you know I'm almost 30 I have the money I have the time I have the freedom to travel to do the things that I like to explore my own hobbies like that's the things I want to do that's the things I'm excited about not settling down or doing what society is pressuring me to do um so yeah I've just been trying to love on myself a little bit I think it's really important I, I realized that the older we get a lot of people just do not have hobbies I think that we just think that going to work and coming home and watching tv or going to the gym is a hobby that's that's not a hobby like that's that's just a basic life you know I think it's good sometimes to have things that we just enjoy doing for the sake of doing your job is not a hobby like yes going to the gym can be a hobby and it can be a third space almost to go to hang out with your friends or to work on yourself and things like that and dedicate time to your body but I just think too there's this pressure to 
monetize our hobbies and to hustle and you know oh you need to always be having seven streams of income but sometimes it's okay to just have fun you know you don't have to be good at your hobbies you can love gardening you can love painting you can love you know volunteering all of those things can be a hobby and you don't have to be good at them I know a lot of people who have hobbies that they kind of suck at you know you can be um you can enjoy painting and not know how to paint at all but I just think it's good you know the older that you get to have hobbies to have friends to have things that you're doing you're not just caught up in the humdrum of is that the word the hum the hum and drum I don't know the word <laughs> you get what I'm saying you're not just caught up in this cycle of going to work and going home and going to work and going home and going to work and going home I just think it just gets so boring and so monotonous and you know I, I really do feel like in our 30s or in our late 20s we really need to find hobbies just to make ourselves excited again and make ourselves happy it was just such a hard transition when I finally graduated from college in 2017 and you know when you're in college you're a around your friends all the time it's so exciting there's the football games and the I was in the band and you're with your friends and you're going out to the club and then you graduate and you're expected to get a job and just settle down and that's the rest of your life and you just work forever and I don't I don't want to subscribe to that I want to still live my life and have fun and go out and travel and see the world and do these things with my friends and with my partner and them just by myself you know so yeah those are the things that have just been on my mind you know as of late and after going through this breakup and turning 28 and having two years until I turn 30 but but yeah comment down below like what do you you know think of all of that um how old are you like you know what are your feelings of kind of like the older generation pressuring people to settle down versus you know 30 year olds are still basically young <laughs> Like they still deserve to live their life and not be forced to settle down. You know what I'm saying? But I think that is the biggest life update that has happened so far. Um, other than that, I'm really excited for fall. I love football season. I love watching football. Um, I just went to um, my homecoming. Uh, I graduated from the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. Go Raging Cajuns. <laughs> um, I just went to their homecoming and I just love football. There is just something so... I don't know, like American and just like so Southern about going to football games, like in the fall, in October, like the weather's just right. And like, everyone's just so excited to be there. We're all wearing our matching shirts. I don't know. I just love it. I still love going to, I, I think I like college football better than, you know, NFL football, but I, I just love football season. I love the fall. I think we all do. Um, I'm so excited for Halloween as of the time I'm recording this. Um, Halloween is only a week away. So I'm really excited. I am dressing up as Tebow from iCarly you know the guy that has like the stick of bagels I'm going to dress up as him um, for Halloween so I'm just really excited for that um, also I started my lock journey if you have not noticed I do have locks now um, I know that some people call them dreadlocks or dreads or locks um, I just think as long as you're saying it with love I know some people don't really subscribe to calling them dreadlocks I just say locks but either or does not really offend me but I started my lock journey on September 1st and honestly it came out of honestly I've always wanted to have locks I wanted to commit to something I think there's something so powerful in your journey and committing to locking your hair because it is permanent I mean not really you can always comb out your locks but it is more permanent than having loose natural hair so I was really really excited I installed them myself it was just a labor of love it did take quite a long time if I can be honest but I was so so excited to start my lock journey and so now it has been um almost 
almost two months now and my hair is just locking so fast. I'm just so, so excited to just be starting this journey. Um, I think I've started it just to, you know, teach myself a little bit of patience, teach myself, you know, that I can do this, just loving my hair and loving myself on this journey. I had to unlearn a lot, a lot of shame when it came to my hair. I have always been the type to have quote unquote good hair and have long hair. And I had people, you know, always dote on me and tell me like, oh, your hair is so long. It's so beautiful. It's so this, it's so that. So, you know, for a long time, locks were seen as beautiful, but it was always seen as unkempt or dirty or frizzy or whatever in the workplace. And, you know, uh, you know, a lot of times in our community, we really don't see locks as like good hair or beautiful hair. So it was just a lot for me to really, really commit to that journey. So I'm just so, so excited that my hair is starting to lock. I'm just really excited for that process. But yeah, I think I've talked way too much at this point. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Remember that I am still a small YouTube channel. So if you think about subscribing, if you think about commenting or giving this video a thumbs up, that definitely, definitely helps my videos. Also, if you want to know how to support me, the best way you can support me is by doing that and watching the ads on my videos. That is how I make money. Um, I do make money from the ads that are playing on YouTube. I don't make a lot of money because I just do enjoy, I just enjoy doing this as a hobby. It, YouTube is my hobby. I enjoy video editing and filming these videos for you guys and seeing your comments and things like that. So I just want to thank you guys so, 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 so much because 2000 subscribers is just amazing to me. Um, if you guys want me to do a Q&A or anything like that, if you're more curious about me, you can always leave questions down below and I will be happy to answer them. But I post new videos every single Wednesday. So I will see you guys next week. Bye.